Yama, I'm Jack, and this is Newsbreak. For the first time ever, NASA has brought a piece of an asteroid back to Earth. This space capsule touched down in Utah yesterday, and it's got scientists pretty excited. Here's Josh. It was a major moment seven years in the making, as NASA's OSIRIS-REx capsule successfully touched down in the Utah desert. And get this, it contains soil that's 4.6 billion years old. Oh yeah. It comes from an asteroid around 81 million kilometres away from Earth named Bennu. Asteroids are the leftover remnants from solar system formation, and studying them helps us to understand how the Earth and all the planets in our solar system were formed. The team is hoping the sample, which the spacecraft collected back in 2020, can give us a better idea of how life on Earth came to be, and even help to advance our asteroid deflection systems. They reckon they managed to get around 250 grams of the stuff, but they won't know for sure until the capsule's very carefully opened at the Johnson Space Center in Houston tomorrow. And from there, NASA wants to give the public a glimpse in October, before sending parts of the sample to experts across the globe and locking the rest away for the scientists of the future. Meanwhile, OSIRIS-REx has wasted no time and has already blasted off to its next asteroid. I was there when it was nothing but a PowerPoint on a slide and a proposal that we were submitting to NASA with this dream that we were going to bring back samples from Bennu. So it was amazing and emotional. More than 200 organisations are meeting in Canberra today to plan for Australia's next bushfire season. It's Australia's first ever disaster preparedness summit. And over the next couple of days, state emergency services, government officials and businesses will discuss different ways they can be prepared for the summer ahead. Last week, the Bureau of Meteorology officially announced we're in an El Nino weather event. And experts say we need to be ready for an extremely hot and dry summer. The Wallabies are all but out of the Rugby World Cup. Here's Joe with Sport. Aussie Rugby hits rock bottom. Yeah, after losing to Fiji in the second match of the World Cup, the Aussies needed a win. But it wasn't to be, getting thrashed by Wales 40 to 6. It's the Aussies' heaviest loss at a World Cup, and we'll likely see their campaign end at the pool stage for the first time ever. To a much closer competition at the AFL preliminary finals. Collingwood are into the grand final. Yep, the Magpies are flying to the grand final after a nail-biting one-point win over GWS. Their opponents will be the Brisbane Lions, who had a more comfortable 16-point win over Carlton. The two teams will face off in the grand final showdown on Saturday. The NRL is also in grand final mode. The Penrith Panthers smashed the Melbourne Storm with the biggest preliminary final win ever, 38-4. Now they'll face the Brisbane Broncos, as the Panthers look to win their third premiership in a row. And finally to the Berlin Marathon, where Ethiopian Tijist Asifa has smashed the women's marathon world record. She completed the 42km course in just 2 hours, 11 minutes and 53 seconds, which is more than 2 minutes faster than the previous record. Dinosaurs believed to have once had feathers. Pfft, that's old news, just like these next stories. If you've ever wondered what ancient humans look like, well, wonder no more. John here is a paleo artist who creates lifelike models of early humans, aka Neanderthals, based on archaeological finds. The models take quite a bit of time to make. Oh, you missed a spot. And once they're finished, they head to museums around the world, giving current humans a look at the old humans. Looking for a new chair? How about one made of old tennis balls? No? OK, well, how about this one made of old shoes? These are just some of the weird and wacky designs on display at the London Design Fair, where hundreds of designers from across the globe have gathered to show off their latest innovations. And a company working on gas pipelines in Peru have unearthed something rather old. Eight mummies. The mummies are thought to be around 1,100 to 800 years old and were buried alongside a selection of funeral belongings. Well, that's all we've got for you, but we'll see you again tomorrow with more. Bye!